well, this is not going to plan. Uh, I thought I'd just stop for a minute and recess everything. If I have to pull that poster off again, it's going to be ruined. Face in your face. <laughs> Hello, welcome back. Here's today's video making a Metallica frame, the band Metallica with a P Metallica tarantula. And as you can tell by the thumbnail, there doesn't go very well. This has been a right nightmare, to be honest. Um, as normal, we've got a big box frame, deep box frame from IKEA. We've got the P Metallica mature male here. Now, they're a lot smaller, but still very stunning. as you can see and also I've got some brickwork uh, wallpaper for a background which I was using but you'll see in a minute it doesn't work and here's the Metallica poster I've got off eBay I really liked this one because I had the skeleton on it was just a bit gothic a bit cool well in my opinion and then we just stick in the background the mount so the next part is to stick our poster onto the backing I'm going to put it to one side because I want the tarantula next to it just get as central as possible by eye you obviously can do it with a tape measure. Now I don't know if you can notice but I've just started to realise that this is not going to work. Um, I'm just taking the pins out so I can pop the tarantula on and just see that the background just, just doesn't work, it's too dark for the tarantula. So we'll start again and we'll put a new background over the top of that one. Well, I've used this, um, it's just the sheet that comes in with the frame because it's quite a neutral colour. So I'm just going to stick that on over the top. This is the first nightmare. <laughs> um, and then we will stick the post onto here and the tarantula. So just measuring up as always, find a nice central point and pop a bit of glue on the back of your tarantula and gently press it down to fix. Now I've got these really cool stencils that I ordered from Amazon. Uh, music notes, good instruments, some swirls, some flowers, I thought they were really cool and they would make the frame, just add to the frame a bit. Now I'm just having a look to see which ones I think would look best on there. Now I've got some black poster paint and some red and blue uh, coinciding colours with the poster and I'm just going to dab it on with a bit of this uh, washing up sponge. Just hold it tight against the paper and just dab it on. Now I went for the roses at the bottom 
and as you can see when I lift it up it doesn't look brilliant but I thought I could just paint over it a little bit and make it look a bit better but then I painted this on and it looked even worse oh so disappointed um, yeah I really should have checked this beforehand because it looks terrible and now the spider and the poster need to be removed which is really not good at this stage So when removing your tarantula you're going to have to be really gentle with the use a sharp blade just I'm lucky this just lifted off it couldn't have been very well stuck yet And now I have the horrible job of peeling this poster off this backing without ripping it to bits and having to start again. Oh, oh, honestly, it was awful. Now I'm just going to do the rest of this without filming so I don't ruin it. Well, this is not going to plan. Uh, I thought I'd just stop for a minute and recess everything. If I have to pull that poster off again, it's going to be ruined. Um, and I can't take that spider off either. The legs will start coming off. It's really... <laughs> oh God, hopefully I can sort it out. This is why it's always good to plan. Anyway, back to the video. So now we're back to our trusty scroll leaf. So I've popped that on, we're sticking the poster back on, measuring up, putting the tarantula back on. I found these cute little mini guitars off Amazon, a suggestion from Phil Barber, so I thought they would look cool on there. So I'm going to stick those on. And I also bought these lovely metallic wires from Amazon, which I'm going to make some lightning with. Suggestion from Tarantula Rookie Matt. So I'm going to do some cool stuff with these to go in the frame. Have a lovely coinciding red and blue colour, which will look awesome. Okay, different tactic on this. Um, you tried with a fine liner on some well scrap cardboard and it's quite good so I'm gonna have another go of putting some music notes into the frame. I'm also trying to make some lightning with some glow in the dark um, paint this paint on this wire and let it uh, dry out and then I will see if I can use it. Anyway, let's put the stencils onto the frame. I'll do it in the time lapse. And thankfully, this has come out great. Right, the next plan. The next plan is to put this little rock sign here, so it looks like it's um coming out of the page. So I'm going to use a bit of this to prop it up somewhere and then I'm going to use some scrap bits of paper curled and ripped so right around this so it looks like it's coming out of the page. We will see if I can pull that off. We'll see. Now this is also a cool suggestion from our Matt Tarantula Rookie, so thank you Matt for all your help. I think I probably would have given up on this frame if it weren't for your <laughs> suggestion, so thanks mate. Now here's the finished bits of painted wire with the uh, glow-in-the-dark paint. They look pretty cool. 
I'm going to add them to the frame into the actual box bit of the frame. And coming up next is the finished frame. I hope you like it. Uh, it could have been a disaster. Well, it was a few times. I could have given up. But I think we got there in the end. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. I also have tried to add in a picture in the dark, the glow of the glow in the dark paint. They didn't. My camera didn't really pick it up, so sorry about that. Um, but it definitely does look better in real life. So what do you think? Metallica, yeah. Um, let me know what you thought in the comments. As always, to subscribe to my channel, please press here. Notification bell for, for future videos. And please do leave me any comments and let me know what you feel. Or if you have any ideas for future videos, I'm yeah, always welcome to ideas and appreciate all of your support. Take care, see you on the next one. Face in your face. Hey.